Hey there, thanks for joining me today. This is Laura Lynn with Keep Inking Up. I'm an independent demonstrator for Stampin' Up! in San Antonio, Texas. And today I wanna to share three cards that, uses, that use the Thoughtful Blooms stamp set and the Coordinating Punch. These two items are um, some of the free selections during celebration, which is going on now through um, March 31st, 2020. For every $50 order, you can choose the Thoughtful Blooms stamp set, and for every $100 order, you can choose the Coordinating Punch. I can't remember the name of the punch at the moment, but anyway, it is the Coordinating Punch for this particular stamp set. So, I want to show you the first card. I'm going to bring in a half a sheet of our Purple Posy cardstock. This is one of our 2019 to 2021 in colors, and I think it's so pretty. It's a nice soft purple, and you know me, I love purple. I am a purple gal. So I have my card base and I use my bone folder to give it a nice crisp crease so it stays nice and flat. And then I'm gonna pull in my stamps and actually I'm gonna stamp on my deluxe foam mat. Now this foam mat is meant for our stamp apparatus, so that's why it has the size and the grid on it. But I like to use it for my regular stamping, whenever, especially whenever I'm using photopolymer stamps. So I'm gonna open up my card to do my stamping and I'm gonna begin by using gray granite ink for the, I guess you call this like a viney image. Let me pull this back in. It's right here, the image that has the, the branches and the leaves. And I'm gonna ink that up in the gray granite and then I'm gonna stamp it to the left, not quite to the edge of the card. Stamp that right there. And then I'm going to stamp it again above here. And below. Okay. And before I continue on, I am going to go ahead and wipe off the ink so I don't get that where I don't want to on my inside of my card. And I'll close up the gray granite for now. And next, I'm going to bring in my Highland Heather ink pad. And I'm pulling out the solid flower. There's several different flowers in here. I'm using this image right here, I have it mounted. And I'm gonna ink that up in the Highland Heather. And I'm gonna go in the openings of, of where, um, there's little openings in that particular um, cluster stamp. So I'm just gonna stamp it there. I'm not worrying too much about how it overlaps. I think it looks fine no matter what. So I'm gonna close up the Highland Heather. And next I'm going to bring in the Gorgeous Grape ink pad. And I'm going to use this little tiny flower. There's two little flowers, I'm using this one. This is super tiny, but I'm using this one right here. So I'm gonna ink that up and stamp that in the center of all of the flowers that I just stamped. And I apologize if I get my head in the way, I'm trying not to. I'm just kind of lining that up around in the center of that flower. And then I'm gonna add some more around the edge of the cluster. If you can kind of see there's some little stems out there and it looks like I got these two a little bit close. So I might just put one there. I'm just adding a little bit more color onto my card. You can put as many or as few as you want. I think that looks good. And then I'm going to, I have my sentiment on here. There's a couple of different sentiments. There's congratulations, there's thank you, and then there's I'm always amazed but never surprised by your thoughtfulness. That's a great um, sentiment to go on the inside of the thank you card that we're gonna make. So I'm gonna ink up the thank you image here and I'm gonna stamp that in the bottom right corner here of the card. Perfect. Okay, then I'm gonna close up that gorgeous grape and I'm gonna go back to my gray granite. And I'm gonna add in a couple of little leaves around the thank you sentiment. So I'm actually going to stamp off onto my thing here and I'm gonna add a little 
a leaf there, there, and there. And then I'm going to come with the outline of the same leaf. Oops. Make sure that I get it lined up right again. If it doesn't line up exactly, it's okay. This is a handmade card. Um, and just like that, I have a nice little thank you card. A one layer card. If you know me, you know that I like one layer cards. Oops, and before I make a mistake again, I'm going to wipe off my deluxe foam mat. And isn't that a really nice thank you card? It's really clean and simple. A little bit of color. It's not your typical white card that I usually do with, with one layer cards. And I just, I love purple. So I love the purple posy, Highland Heather, and grape, uh, gorgeous grape all together. And I liked the, the, the look of the gray granite with all of those purples as well. So I mentioned I'm gonna make three cards. I'm not gonna show you how to make the others, but I wanted to say if you wanted to step up this simple one layer card a little bit and use the punch, here I did the same kind of stamping, um, but I, then I used the, the punch. I punched the flowers out of, um, I stamped on Purple Posy again with the Highland Heather and Gorgeous Grape, and then I punched them out. So I stamped exactly the same way as I did here but I punched them out and then I added some little rhinestones in there and I layered this up a little bit. I added a, um, a mat of gorgeous grape underneath the layer of purple posy and I used the other sentiment congratulations on here and I mounted it on a gray granite um, card base with another layer on there. So that's a little bit stepped up from the simple one layer card. And then if you happen to own a uh, die cutting machine. This um, card is stepped up a even further. It does do the same kind of stamping as the others with the punch and the, the rhinestone in the middle, but I also used some dies and embossing folder. This is the um, uh, Stitch So Sweetly um, die with the cute little scalloped edge and stitching on there, and this is the Coastal Weave um, 3D embossing folder. So that's um, a, a little bit more stepped up card. So let me move these out of the way so you can see the three cards together. Put my mat out of the way. So you've got your simple one layer card. You have it stepped up a little more with some punches and some layers, and then stepped up even more with some um, 3D embossing and some die cutting. And I also added some, some ribbon on there. So anyway, I hope that you enjoyed these three cards and I highly recommend that you get the Thoughtful Bloom stamp set and the coordinating punch while you can during celebration. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.